Combined with farina, porridge. Of course, I use milk powder as the base. And then um, I have my cinnamon, vanilla, essence, nutmeg, grated into it. You know, I put my water to boil, I had my spices, all of these. And then I decided to mix these two in. I did okay. And it's nice and smooth because one thing I don't like is drinking a porridge with a um, lump. So I like my porridge to be nice and smooth, so I always make a smooth porridge. But for some reason, I did not mix in enough farina. Right? So I decided, let me add a little bit more. Now look at my porridge. I am now, unfortunately, among the group that makes lumpy porridge. Look at those lumps. So now I have to spend time to squeeze out my lumps. The part was nice and smooth, you know. And then I decide to have some farina. And this is the end result. So now you tell me, how do you get lumps out of your porridge before you put it on the table? Because I can't drink this like this. And I know my son won't like it like this. I don't want to be chewing something. I want to be drinking nice and smooth porridge like it's supposed to be. Let me show you the um, milk powder that I use. The delicious milk powder, my friend. Delicious milk powder. Yeah. So, this is the milk powder. Different milk powder because I've used different milk powder. It all depends on the type that's available. You know, so yeah. I right, put my milk powder and my powdered milk. Yeah. So that's it. So that's my part. So I don't know how it's gonna turn out or what you would do to get your lamb out. So once I post this video, maybe you could tell me in the chat how you get your lumps out because I've been trying to put them to the side and, you know, crushing them out, which is time consuming. I can't strain it. Well, maybe I could put it in a strainer if it was just a small amount of porridge and um, strain it into a bowl and then warm it or, or drink it if it's still warm. But the big pot of porridge like this, with so many lumps, I'm just trying to get it out. And the lumps are easy to squeeze. It's, it's not that like it's impossible, but like I said, it's time consuming. So don't do like me. If you ever put your porridge to boil and it's thin, just accept it. Okay, or maybe mix a little flour into water and then strain it into your porridge and mix it in. Because pouring that sweet, um, farina directly into the porridge that's already boiling was a bad, bad, bad mistake. Alright, I know it's going to be delicious, so let me hurry up get the lumps out so we can have breakfast. Thank you for watching. think is cream of wheat but if I can get a plant you know what I changed my mind plant and porridge is delish so I'll take the plant and porridge over this but yeah they're all delicious to get when I was in all age school back in Jamaica um, when I was in all age school the principal used to hand out or allow the school to hand out milk powder on some Fridays 
and there was just something special about that milk powder. I've never come across any milk powder in the United States that tastes like that milk powder. And, and I've asked people who, you know, visit to bring milk powder, but it's not the same. It has that sound when you rub it together. It has that lovely taste when you eat it like that. I used to love it with sugar in it. Mixed with sugar or just plain. That milk powder was so good, man. Like they would say, that milk powder was the bomb. I don't know what that means, but yeah, it certainly didn't bomb me up, but it was delicious. Yes, it was Thank <laughs> you.